Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I'm here checking into what you need to know for the Lion's Gate portal. Okay, um, here's the thing with the portal: I always feel and see like big results, um, like within the first week of the Lion's Gate. Okay, um, this is a portal for change. All right. I feel like this, the theme for this portal is change. Um, it's happening today. Okay. This is this today is the Lionsgate portal eight, eight. Right. So, um, yeah, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And thank you so much, everyone for all of your support. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you guys. Um, thank you for all the likes. It really makes me happy. The likes just make me kind of giggle. And, you know, it brings this gleeful feeling to me. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, because I know it's resonating. Do you know what I'm saying? So thank you for that, you guys. Remember to thank your favorite readers today. And welcome to everybody new here. Yeah, the Lionsgate portal, it's about... Um, you entering into a new portal. Just imagine you walking through this portal and stepping into a new phase in your life. Anytime we start a new phase, um, things need to change. There needs to be a big change, right? And I feel like for a lot of you, you've been wanting a change, okay? Um, you may be um, praying for more money or a better job or um, someone like a friend, or, right, a friend, someone in your corner, someone you can trust who's going to stick with you, or a new love, whatever it is that you've been praying for. But something's got to give. Something's got to change in order for spirit to bring this into your life. So there may be a sacrifice here. You may need to let something go. Um, it changes your first card out for this Lionsgate portal. And this is the portal. This I'm also seeing as the Wheel of Fortune. So some doors are closing here, right? Some things are ending and new beginnings, okay? This is the beginning of your, of your new life, a new phase in your life. I feel like while we go through this portal, we, got, we have to manifest the things that we want. So focus on what you want in your future. Try to put everything that's happened to you in the past, leave it behind you, put it behind you, okay? Um, because this portal is a new beginning for you. And Spirit wants you to know that they're working with you here. It's a, it's a team effort, okay? Um, and I feel like Spirit wants you to know that they're not going to let you fall. Um, there's going to be a big change, a big shakeup that may scare you or, um, you know, it'll bring some anxiety to you. It's not going to be like, you're going to get into a fight or something like that. It's not going to be like negative. This is just going to be a change, a change that's going to make you feel like, um, like you're maybe out of balance, right? Or losing some kind of stability. All right. This could be, and I got this message too for cancer's video. So you may have cancer in your chart. Okay. So you may want to watch that video. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, um, don't try to push against it. Okay. This is going to be something that's going to be unpleasant. I feel like, I mean, what does it look like to you? Right. It's going to be unpleasant. It's going to, um, maybe, um, make you a bit afraid of the future. It could make you feel very uncomfortable. It's going to, it's going to be kind of a shakeup. It's, it could make you confused, shocked. Okay, um, I feel like you're you're going to want to fight against this change. Okay, but don't. Okay, don't fight against it. Just kind of go with it. Okay, be receptive to it. Because the more you fight against this change, the more you try to control what's happening. Right, so that this, whatever this is, this change doesn't occur. It's going to postpone this new beginning for you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to postpone um, your blessings from coming in. But if you go with the flow, okay, if you're receptive to this change, I feel like you, um, 
you're going to have, you're going to harvest the fruit on your tree. Okay. Um, it'll be, it'll bring you to more abundance, more success. Okay. So spirit is trying to kind of give you a little warning here of a shakeup that's about to happen in your life. But this is something that's necessary for your future. Okay. It's not, you're not going to like the way it feels. Okay. Um, it's going to shake you up. It's going to confuse you. It's going to startle you maybe or worry you. Okay. But um, to try to to try to fight to keep this from happening or stop this from happening, um, it's going to hold you back to do that. Okay. So spirit just wants you to like take a deep breath, release, just release the stress and just say, you know what? I know that everything's going to be okay. I know it's going to be okay. You know, this could be something that has been more of a burden for you um, than something that's helping you. Okay. Maybe it's um, something that you've kind of lost passion for, or it no longer really resonates with you, but you feel like you have to keep doing it. Okay. Um, some of you have been in that, like, it just feels kind of like survival mode, right? When this change happens, survival mode is going to take over. But spirits like, don't fall for that. Don't give in to survival mode. Give in to us, right? Just surrender to us. We know what we're doing. We're creating a change in your life, says the divine, right? The divine says, give in to us. We're creating this change on purpose, because we know if this change doesn't happen, it's not good. You're not going to be able to experience all of your abundance and success in the future. Okay. So they just want you to kind of relax because whatever this is that um, it feels like you need to let go of something, just let go, you know, release, right? Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Kind of energy. That's what I feel like I need to tell you. Look, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Somebody here feels like crying. I don't know. But it is. I feel like spirit just wants you to release this because this burden <clears throat> that you've been carrying, it's, it's actually suppressing you. It's, um, it's, it's hindering these blessings from coming in. It's slowing the progress. Okay? And spirit can see this ahead of time. Instead of this, feeling this energy, they want you to feel this energy. <clears throat> okay? You may be doing something like over and over again, right? The same way, like repetitive. This could be something repetitive that you do um, that you don't want to let go of, you know? Um, this repetitiveness, it could feel like your stability, but in all actuality, it's hindering you. This also feels like a, like a shift that you're going through as well, because spirit is asking you to have a different perspective on this. Okay. And just let this change happen for you. Okay, it's not a change against you, even though at first it's going to feel that way. This is going to be something that's going to cause you a lot of anxiety. Um, but you know what? This is something that if you just watch what happens, right? Watch the progress. Um, I'm telling you, it's, it's, you're going to see. You're going to see um, positive things happening in your life. Okay, so something here that you're doing, it, it feels repetitive, something that you're doing over and over again, or um, this is like a routine. That's what it feels like. It feels like a routine. Spirit doesn't want you to have that kind of routine anymore. This could be, um, this could be a job that maybe um, you're, you're going to be forced to leave somehow. Okay, um, it could be... It could be anything, really. It could be um, something that you do for, you know, for your own business. Maybe spirit doesn't want you to do that part anymore, but they want you to grow and expand in another area, okay? Whatever this is, there's going to be 
um, there's something here is coming to an end or it um, you need to like kind of stop doing it right whatever this is but a new door opens like it's going to lead you it's going to open more things up for you opportunities or your blessings to come in or success to begin for you or just a lot of growth and forward movement okay it could be something like a schedule change it could be something like um maybe a huge change within your family you know um uh, you could be walking away or losing a family member um it's it's gonna feel negative but it's actually for for the positive it's for your benefit okay you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Gemini. You could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like this is affecting all the signs, okay? Because I'm getting a lot of air as well. And I feel like this is something that is going to, um, this change is going to lead to some kind of healing. Um, I'm just feeling a major shift here, emotionally, mentally, the way you the way you see yourself. It could have something to do with that, just shifting in how you see yourself, you know, and deciding to just be free, you know, um, not worry about what other people think. Do your own thing, dance to the beat of your own drum. Right. This also feels like a very bold move on your part as well. I'm getting this, you know, fool energy off of this card. So this is you starting like um, seriously looking at yourself differently, looking at a situation differently, maybe looking at a problem differently. And I'm just feeling like this release. Okay. Okay. And spirit, they have their hands over your life right now. That's what it feels like here with these hands. Okay, this could be about a creative project that you've recently started as well. Maybe recently you have been feeling kind of foggy when it comes to your communication with the divine. Um, but that's about to that's about to clear up. You know, I feel like um, I honestly it feels like spirit has their full attention on you and rearranging things in your life so that um, so that you can come out way on top. OK, that's really what it feels like. You just have to be receptive to it. You know. You just have to not fight against it. Allow the divine to just do what they have to do in your life to bring you, um, to take you to a new level is basically what this is. Okay, what else is happening for this lion's gate? What does the collective need to know for the lion's gate? Yeah, see, it's going to bring you to a lot of success. Okay, so it feels like it could be something to do with the shakeup or something in your home, okay, or something in your family, all right? It's going to cause you um, a lot of wor possibly worries, um, maybe some anxiety, but I'm telling you, you're going to end up with like a new beginning in your hand, okay? You're going to end up with blessings. This is also going to bring you to the Queen of Pentacles throne that's being financially stable, independent, okay? Happy, um, comfortable, living a comfortable life. This is where the divine wants you right now. I feel like this is where you feel now, okay? Maybe feeling suppressed, like why can't you move feeling stuck okay why is there no forward movement you know maybe you're exhausted doing the same thing every day or doing something um it feels like a routine okay spirits getting you out of this energy this negative energy to and putting you in this energy this grounded stable abundant happy comfortable energy okay 
that's what's happening for you. It just, it feels like, a, it almost feels like a tower moment here. It feels like tower moments. Um, but it's really, in the big picture of things, it's really a minor shakeup. It really is. It just feels big. But it's, I feel like it's just because it feels big because it's a necessary change. And the, and the, um, the results from this change are going to be big. And I, I feel like, you know, I usually see the results from the Lionsgate portal, like, um, within the first week. Okay. So I feel like, um, the changes will start happening for you very quickly. Okay. And it's, it's a, it's a mental and emotional shift of how you view yourself and, and where you are in life now and what needs to change, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a shift and it's a, like, um, it almost feels like spirit is kind of rearranging something for you in your life. That's what it feels like. Okay, there's, and also we're going through a retrograde. So people from your past are about to come back in. I've got somebody here wanting to come and apologize to you now. Um, so you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be any sign, okay? This person who's coming in to apologize to you, they want a new beginning, okay? They have put you in a third party in the past, broke your heart, betrayed you, okay? Chose someone over you. Now this person has been like, um, it feels like they're rehearsing what they're try what they're going to say in a mirror because they know they're about to approach you here. And I feel like this is going to be somebody who just kind of shows up, boom, at your door, okay? They want this new beginning. Yeah, see, and you think this is over already, but this person's coming back around. Um, it's like, you know, a boomerang effect or something. They're coming back in in this Lionsgate portal, 8-8. Eight, eight. You know, that's someone from your past returning. Yeah, see, they don't want this coming to an end. You already think this is over. You're skipping through that Lionsgate portal, <laughs> right? Skipping through the portal, like, okay, I'm leaving that past connection behind me, right? And that's part of this shift. That's part of your healing process. Okay, so you can come out of it ready, ready to start a new adventure, ready to start a new yeah, and this is, I'm just feeling portal energy here, big time. So this person knows they're out of time. They're out of time. This is it. Af I feel like after this portal, this person's not going to have any chance left or the opportunity of coming back around. Spirit's going to, the changes that are happening in your life now, you're going to be way too busy to focus on any kind of um, person from your past, any person from your past. So, yeah, you've already got new options. See how fast it is? You've got new um, opportunities, like, um, being aligned for you right now, okay? It, seriously, you come out of this, you come through this Lionsgate portal, and boom, here's all these new opportunities for you. And a celebration, okay? And this person from your past, I feel like they're, they know that you're ending this. They know you're moving forward. Um, they're in a lot of pain. They're, they may be jealous, envious. Um, but this is a judgment call that the divine is making. Okay, this person, I don't, they want to come back in and have this new beginning. But spirit, um, spirit wants you to keep moving forward here. Spirit wants you to focus on this. The Seven of Cups, all of this new stuff coming into your, into your life here through this Lionsgate portal. Okay? You could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a Capricorn, maybe a Scorpio. Yeah, so I feel like this person, you know, they're in, they're going to be in the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, and Devil energy. 
This person may still have some toxic tendencies, some toxic addictions. They, um, they may even still be with a toxic partner, okay, some karmic. Um, so spirit doesn't want this person back in. They don't want this, this person back into your life. They've got a whole lot of lessons to learn, a lot of work to do on themselves. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's, this connection is already coming to an end. There's that Lion's Gate portal, the strength. Spirit is like, keep your boundaries up, you know, keep your chin up through this change. I feel like you're just to kind of stand your ground when it comes to anybody coming back in from your past now. They can't come back in. They had plenty of time to do the work on themselves and do the right thing. They did. But, but they, they, they didn't put any effort in. You know, um, it's just too late. It's late. It's too late now for this person to come back in. I'm hearing, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Yeah, I don't know who sings that song, though, but that's the song I'm hearing. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know why I'm feeling protection here off of this. You could be a cancer, uh, or this could be a cancer. Protecting yourself, okay? Because the people who want to come back in, I'm just being led to look at these wolves. These people will still, um, like, I feel like they'll deplete you of your abundance. They could postpone your abundance from coming in, okay? Um, and they'll tear you apart like they did before. Uh, I feel like, yeah, there's still wolves. There's still wolves, maybe in sheep's clothing, okay? Spirit is like, look, just focus on your new future. This, this card here, this fool card here is like this card here, okay? Focus on your new future in this beginning, right? Take that leap of faith. Go through this, you know, strut your pretty butt through the portal, right? The Lion's Gate portal, that's what this is. Okay, spirit doesn't want you to have anything to do with, the, with these people from your past or this particular one. They cannot come back in. It's too late for them to apologize. And look, chariot energy, spirit is like, just keep moving forward. Thank you, spirit. I was just about to say that. Just keep moving forward. Don't look back. Okay, no looking back. There, yeah, it's too late. To turn back now, right? I'm getting all of these songs about it's just being, it's too late for you to look back in your past and it's too late for this person to apologize. But you're always going to be their wish. They're always going to be their wish. But um, without your cup of love, right? Without your cup, they're not going to get wish fulfillment. This person's going to end up pining for you, longing for you for the rest of their life, watching you as you succeed and feeling in a lot of regret forever turning their back on the soulmate connection. Okay. And there's the tower moment. Yeah. Oh, you're about to get new love and new love is coming in for the Empress. And there's that wheel of fortune. We're right back to where we started. Okay. There's a, this is a, a new, this is the new stuff coming in. It's going to happen so fast. Like it is. This is going to happen so fast. I feel like it's, it's going to leave your head kind of spinning. Okay. <laughs> um, but all of this, you're going to see, you're going to see maybe even towards the end of next week. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're going to start seeing the results of what's happening now with this lion's gate, the changes that are happening in your life, the reconstruction or um, uh, rearranging things for you. That's what spirit is doing to bring the, these blessings in. You've got the ace of pentacles out here. You've got the wheel of fortune. You've got a victory or someone new coming in for you. you you're um, 
you're going to be elevated to a new level in empress energy a huge victory for you with the chariot card i'm telling you and it all happens like really fast really fast because you allow the divine to do what they've got to do and you listen when spirit says put your guard up and stand your ground that's what you're doing you know um if spirit has already told you don't let these people back in from your past you're not gonna you're gonna listen to spirit okay and that brings you to a massive victory a lot of um like a big win opportunities abundance money success and the wheel of fortune here wow yes yeah, so oof, and this is all happening really fast eight of wands this is the like the fastest card in the deck it may have seemed like it was going fairly slowly before but now everything's coming in very quickly okay and you're going to see these results um i always do at lionsgate portal within a week within the week i i um I find out what's really happening and I see the results. So, yeah, get ready for big changes, collective. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.